Thing that you cannot do between the night and the day. Uh, it follows years and years of investigation, uh, you know, following a track that maybe uh, lead you to nothing and then start again. That is the police operation, usually how it develops. And you can find maybe the solution when the people, these, these, these people, just do a mistake. A very little mistake can be a victory for the um, police. Nevertheless, he was dubbed Italy's second most dangerous man and he seemed to be hiding in plain sight. How was it that he was living in an apartment with his wife, with his cats, uh, in, in Naples of all places? That is a great question because that, that shows you the power that these organizations still have on the territory. We are talking about a guy that don't even have a gun, don't even, didn't even, even a guard to protect him because there is a, an environment around him that protect him because there is a great power on the territory. Sometimes you have area of the city, Napoli, where the state doesn't exist and the mafia organization, the Camorra in this case, is let's say the only institution that people can appeal to have uh, uh, justice. This is because the, there are areas in the, in the city where really people doesn't feel to, to any relationship with the public authority. And briefly, how significant is this arrest? This arrest is very important. Uh, let's say that uh, it's a victory of uh, the state uh, that follows, of course, a very important war since 2000-2010. Just to let you, to give you some uh, data, uh, in one of those years where this family, the Lauro family, uh, just moved the war in Napoli, we had more than 150 people killed. And this is a record in uh, one year that we don't, didn't see since the 80s. So 